Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to part two of Tecla structures and uh, SketchUp model importation and exportation. And remember the beauty of this importing into, into SketchUp is that you'll have the absolute freedom to make or create the equipment you want to be installed inside your structure. And in this case, we have, we want to install the overhead crane right on top of these rail you're seeing on top here on top of, of these supports now let me just go straight to view and come to navigate and uh, rotate this by holding my mute button on the mouse if i press ctrl shift or if i use this option of view then come to navigate and rotate with mouse i'll be able to use my left button on the mouse after picking a rotation point and hold my left button and be able to turn this round. Now, we'll go back to SketchUp on our previous model that we imported into SketchUp from Tecla Structures. So, uh, our model of uh, overhead crane is in uh, SketchUp model, SketchUp format, and we want all the equipment be installed in inside this structure in SketchUp. Now we'll switch over to SketchUp. I'll, p I'll uh, pick on SketchUp. And here we have our structure in place already imported. If you've been following this right from the start, you'll have a clear memory and uh, you'll be able to pick everything right from the start. Now, let me come to rotate and uh, I'll rotate this using Orbit. And I'll turn that round. Now we want to bring inside this structure our overhead crane. So we want just to put a, a dummy overhead crane here so that when we generate the drawing, uh, the contractor or the person that will be doing this job will see, will have a picture of what is required inside the structure. Now I'll come back to, I'll come to file here. First of all, exit the orbit rotation, then I'll come to import right there. Then uh, I have my crane model uh, in SketchUp format. Then I'll, I'll pull it inside this structure and place it right on top of these uh, rails. Now, once I've selected on that, I'll right, come here right away and click import. Then uh, you'll see, I'll just zoom out so that you can have a clear view of what I'm talking about you'll see the model is slightly heavy taking into account that we've we've imported in another heavy equipment and uh, we want to just to place it somewhere that we will have uh, the option of manipulating this model now I, let me just place it right here let me just place it right here then I'll, I'll come to rotate using mouse or uh, using orbit option. Then I'll turn this round like that. So we want to install this overhead crane right on top of our rails. And uh, you can see it's facing on the opposite direction and we want these to run across. Uh, across our span or across the span of the structure and to rotate this i'll just come to i'll come to tools right here and pick on rotate i'll pick on rotate and i'll just snap somewhere here maybe here i'll just snap right there and i want to define the direction of rotation and i'll be able to turn that to turn that in the, in the direction i want it to be I want that to be in that direction, in that position. I mean, then I'll press Control, I'll, I'll press Escape, just to take me off that command. Now I want to take it up on top of the rails. So I'll pick a point right at the bottom here. I'll get off that rotation command. So I'll just, I'll pick on the model first. I'll pick on the model first, then come to Move. 
then I want to pick it from the bottom end of this uh, wheel or pulley or or uh, wheel now let me just pl place it right on top of this on top of this rail let me just zoom up so that we can have a clear look or, or a clear view of what we're talking about let me just first of all place it right there zoom out and press that and rotate that to have a clear view of what of, of the position we intend to take this structure to now i'll come back to the bottom end here and i'll just place it right there still not moving perfectly and we'll have to take it up there and if you're keen enough you've noted something that uh, uh, our rail supports are close to our roof level so uh, our crane might not operate perfectly so what we'll do is just to bring down the cr rail uh, crane rail supports to a height that will accommodate the height of our overhead crane now let me come back here and, and move it to that position take it right there right on top here still not perfect still not perfect let's bring it like that bring it to a position that we will we'll, we will be able to install it right here have it right here and we want to bring it right on top right there and turn that round like that and come to move and pick it right at the bottom end here right at the bottom end here and bring it on top here right on top there so we have our overhead crane in place so if we turn like that you can see we have all the parts protruding right on top of our roof which is not right so to adjust this to accommodate to uh, to accommodate our overhead crane we'll shift the support right to this height so that it will be able to operate without any inconvenience to our rafters now we'll come back to uh, move and click on it then take it down by coming to that spot and feeding the right measurements here one meter and see whether it move it will move to a height that will be convenient to our structure right there i'll come to move uh, come to move once again and click on it don't click on any other part make sure you select you select the right part you intend to shift or to change or to modify the height let me just give it some time to load it's taking time because the model is quite big first of all select select it then first of all come to orbit then turn that round once that has been turned round i'll be able to select on this and i want to bring it down i want to bring it down to a height of another one meter that will be okay and come here and rotate this you can see it has given some allowance so our rail support and the rail line will come all the way to the bottom end here at for about two meters about two meters and you can now i can turn this round and you take a look on how our overhead crane will look like once it has been installed and everything is in is operating we have checker plates here already created so this is a, a dummy a dummy uh, overhead crane so once this has been installed and uh, we want to create 
elevations in uh, in in SketchUp, and this crane will be accommodated. Its position will be located right on our elevations, so the contractor will be able to interpret uh, the position and uh, the location of every equipment required on uh, this particular overhead crane. So don't mind about the full the full stretch of our overhead crane it will be accommodated by installing uh, uh, other columns right at the center or right beside these columns just to provide other supports for rail for the overhead crane to operate conveniently this is how it looks Perfect. That is enough and uh, let's meet on the next presentation and uh, we'll move further with this model to see the end of everything. Thank you. I'm Maurice Dimba and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and uh, let's meet then. Bye bye.